Uh, today we're going to uh, do a demonstration of the uh, Gemini uh, dual wavelength la uh, diode laser from Ultradent. Um, setup is fairly simple and straightforward. Um, the tips come either initiated, uh, pre-initiated, or uh, uh, uninitiated and initiation basically means that you're building up a carbon layer on the outside of the fiber optic uh, pipe, light pipe, uh, to uh, concentrate the laser energy at the point of the of the uh, light guide. Uh, this is pretty simple. It screws right into the handle. And it's screwed in nice and tight. It comes with a handy little tip bending device. So you can bend the tip without creating too much of an acute angle in it, which would cause the laser energy to be dissipated. And we'll turn it on, it takes a second to get going. Our passcode is... Up, down, up, down. So the password's correct. And we show both wavelengths here. We're going to use both. We're going to put the laser on standby. And then we're going to put it on active. There we go takes a little time to get going so we're in standby right now uh, we're going to illuminate our procedures and we're in the general dentistry set of procedures and we're going to be doing a gingivectomy um, so we will select gingivectomy now we're going to put the laser on active. You can see that the tip lights up to help illuminate the field. And we have a Bluetooth um, on off switch, which is pretty handy. We also can change the wattage. This is a maximum 2 watt laser and we're going to go up to 2 watts today. Okay, We're going to activate the sound and the aiming light. Well, evidently you can only have one. Well, we're going to go with the aiming light. So an uninitiated tip, typically what you do is you burn a hole in cork. And we're going to go into the cork for a count of three and back out for a count of two and then stop just before the tip is completely out of the cork. Gotta put the laser on active. Okay, the laser's active now. And we see the black material on the end of the tip. Now we're going to fire the laser again and that's going to burn off. 
and the razor laser's ready for use. My goodness, smoke like that cork? <laughs> no, because somebody's going to be back uh, suctioning. Okay, so we're going to be using this. So you're going to be filming and suctioning. I know. Definitely want to have suction going with this plume of, or laser plume as they call it. And where are we going to be, uh, we're just going to remove this little piece yep. of tissue here. Yep. Okay. Just put your suction right here. Take a little quick peek here. Just a little bit more. By the way, these uh, protective eyewear are specific to the laser. The wireless laser that we have in the school uh, is at a different wavelength, so these glasses would be ineffective in protecting our eyes from that laser. Okay, there you can see it's the tissues reduced. I'm gonna take this this one little spot right off here. A nice smooth surface, no bleeding, and uh, no post-operative pain. Thank you.